Alright, what's going on? This time we are going to continue on with writing a client side connection. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, update this list box with all the visible clients and then we're going to be able to select one and then we'll connect to it. So what we want to do is on click Uh, we'll actually get rid of this connect as client and we'll make it start scan and we'll go private void start scan oh, fuck you and in here we're going to start a new thread again so thread Bluetooth scan thread equals new thread new thread start and we'll call the method we'll just call it scan eh? alright and then we'll go Bluetooth scan thread dot start so now to make the scan thread so this is where we're going to scan for all the available devices and update our list so now we're going to go let's update the UI first we'll just say starting scan couple of dotty dots there Go. Um, let's make an array of Bluetooth info devices. So this is where we're going to store all the information about these devices we find. Oh. Getting ahead of myself here. Bluetooth client that client equals new Bluetooth client client dot discover devices in range and then once that's done that we can update the UI again and say scan complete so once again we need to do this in a thread because otherwise it will block with this discover devices in range call and let's iterate through this array here so for each bluetooth device Right now, this is the part where we're going to add the items to the. Oh, I got that wrong. Um, to the list view. Well, I don't know what they call it here. The list something. So we need to make a list first. Go list, and we'll just call it items. Items equals new list type string and then in back in this um, iteration here we'll go items dot add D which is this D uh, if you don't understand what this for each loop is doing here, it's basically going through this devices and every Bluetooth device info object in it, which they all are, they're going to call it D for each iteration. Uh, that was shit, but basically it goes through the array, and every time it goes through, D is that basically the I 
if you were to do it with a for loop. And then let's um, update the UI. So we're going to make another update call here. Since we're updating from the uh, thread again, so device list. So same as before. Reference the list box, go data source equals items return zero invoke delegate back up back up back up we want to go update device list oh fuck yeah and that should update our device list let's check that out I'll just make sure okay I've got a build area here somewhere bang that on there click over to client start scan Hopefully I've actually got some Bluetooth devices on. Uh, go make sure my phone's on, I'll get back.